Good afternoon. It is February the 27th. One more day of trading in February, the second month of the quarter. And right now it looks like equities are holding in there. We'll start with our customary disclaimer. Hypothetical simulated performance results have certain limitations. Unlike an actual performance record, simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, the results may have under overcompensated for the impact, if any, of certain market factors, such as lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the fact that they are designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representation is being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. Okay, when we left crude oil, I said exit at 9 to 11, and 9 was the conservative exit. And so right here, um, leaning against that low at 10, I believe that bar is high right there, is 11. So this trade right here, buying the 5401s, gave you a dime. And we said a lot of times it takes 15 minutes or more to develop. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Got um, about 45 minutes for that trade to develop. So it's just, it's a slow mover. It was there. I chose to get out. Probably more out of convenience than anything else. Had a lot to do. So 28 ticks uh, for the day session. 48 ticks if you traded before off the average off of the prescribed methodology. Um, we came in today in uh, the E-mini wanting to buy 60s to 62s. That was buy one. That low is 61. I, I mean, it's just really slow going. And again, if you don't lean against these pivot highs or pivot lows, uh, you just don't have the trade location. Um, at very, very slow trading today, gradually higher. Uh, we eventually got up and... Um, tested the Globex high. If we close this thing above um, 65 even, we've got new contract highs we've already made and we'll have a new contract um, closing record and that's 12 days. Now what do you think is going to happen tomorrow on the last day of the month? Do you think they're going to bomb the market and take it down or they might give us 13 days of a higher close? My guess is they're going to give us 13 days of a higher close. Uh, very, very quiet trading. You could have made your business plan, which on E-mini is about two, 250 a day, uh, one to two points at a time. Most trades were there, but there wasn't much more than that. Looking at the F1, and a lot of people say, can it be this easy? Higher low, higher high. Yes, it can be. And you just you really have to understand and appreciate what it takes to get a higher low and a higher high. So F1 says find a place to buy it. We have been looking at a P pretty much all day in the E-mini. And then we have a new move out, an I period right here. So everything right here says find a place to buy it. So 65 for London, 65, 67 is buy one. 60, 62 is buy two. Selling failure to take out and hold 70. 74, 76. My guess is we see 2375 tomorrow. Now you should be long the 2375 calls. If we hit 2375 tomorrow, I think we're going to north of 24. I want you to roll from the 75 calls to the I mean, from the uh, 75 calls to the 2,400 calls. Okay, the news tomorrow. Quite a bit of it. GDP second, 2.1. 2.1 for the deflator. International trade minus 66B. Case Shiller plus 7 tenths showing that the price of homes is going up. 
Chicago PMI 53, that one could come in lower. Based on the automobile industry, consumer confidence 111.3. Um, if consumer sentiment's a guide, that one can come in lower. And then Richmond Fed was 12. I don't know what the new number is going to be. A focus will be GDP, Chicago PMI, consumer confidence 1, 2, slash 3. It is the end of the second month of the quarter. The bias is to the upside, in my not so humble opinion. Well, isn't this the most uh, humbling experience uh, that you've ever put yourself into? I mean, we all think we're so smart and all have it together and what the heck. And you get out here and you do this and that's not necessarily so, is it? Inside day that implies a trading range for treasuries. On the F1 screen, on the F2 screen, it's going to show a pretty solid B with two distributions lower. So, um, 125 even stops beneath that. That's probably where we're headed. So, 29 to 01, buy one. The e mini selling, we do not want to be short. 21 to 25, buy two. On the uh, sell side, last rotate up stopped at 7.5. So, 7 to 11, sell one. 15 to 19, sell two. Okay, looking at the 30-year, first band of resistance is 2428, 3103 cell 1, 7 to 11 cell 2, and again, I, I just don't see how uh, the E-mini will break tomorrow. Number 1 will be 12 to 16, so buying 5s to 9s. And then 29s to 01 for buy two. Looking at gold, um, higher low, higher high on F1. Had a very weak close. We'll see a B. So this usually implies a trading range the next day. Um, our number two sell worked out pretty well. And the selling started in G period. I did not ever find any news that we might tie to the selling, but um, we did have a 64. 66 sell and off the charts you could have executed at 64 even and the market is still selling so 49 to 51 buy one breakout came from 45 45 47 by two um, 55 57 sell one 59 61 sell two Looking at crude, well, crude was tough today. Uh, we did get a few shekels out of the market, but not much. Higher low, higher high on F1. Can buy it. Um, 
Definitely looking at a uh, B with a weak close. So find a spot to sell it. Um, let's see, we get we're at 09 right now. I want to say 54, 25, and 50. I'm not sure we can get there. And we'll put 25 to 50, but we can accept lower. Sell one. 75 to the buck, sell two. Might surprise us in London. Get one of those magic OPEC articles. 53, 75, 54 even, buy one. 53 and a quarter, 53, 50, buy two. And looking at the euro. God, I always think I'm going to get this done in 10 minutes. And very rarely that happens. Talk too much. I know it. Okay, higher low, higher high on the euro. Didn't have a very strong finish. We'll have a split. So uh, we did trade up today, but um, we're looking at a B right now. So uh, selling 106 even, 10610, and 25 to 35 for sell two. 105 75 by one. 105 50 by two. And that does it for this. February the um, 27th we did make a little money today we've had bigger days though but it was positive and we should be grateful for that that's better than having it go the other way right y'all have a great evening we'll see you bright and early in the morning uh, yeah. Hopefully it gets up uh, in the mid-50s today, and then we'll be ready to go at it bright and early in the morning. I'm out of here.